Hello, this is Tim. Today we will talk about the electrical system on an airplane. Why do airplanes require an electrical system? If we consider an airplane in flight, it is impossible to provide electrical supply from the ground. Hence, we need an electrical system that can generate, distribute and store electrical energy. And more importantly, it has to be a self-contained network. The electrical system varies with different aircraft. So we will consider a small piston engine aircraft and a multi-engine jet aircraft for our discussion. First, let's look at the components of the electrical system. We need something that can generate electrical power in the aircraft. This can be done by a generator or an alternator. These generators are driven by the engine, the APU, or a ram air turbine. The electrical power that is generated needs to be converted as required. This is done using transformers, rectifiers, or inverters. The electrical power has to be distributed to different users or systems and is done using an AC bus or a DC bus. The electrical power in small aircraft is obtained from an alternator or a battery. Both of them give us DC power. The DC power is monitored by an ammeter, load meter and a warning light in the cockpit. The power is distributed via a DC bus and is used for electric engine start, lights, flight instruments, navigation aids and radios. Now let's look at the electrical system in bigger aircraft. In multi-engine jet aircraft, we can have AC or DC generators. Individual generators are connected to the engines or to the APU for normal operation. In some aircraft, a separate generator may be installed and connected to a ram air turbine for power generation during certain emergencies. The AC generators connected to the engines and the APU are connected to an AC bus for power distribution. The AC bus is connected to a rectifier which is then connected to a DC bus. So from the AC bus we have alternating current or AC which is converted in the rectifier to direct current or DC. In case of failure of engine generators and the AP generators, an emergency generator is installed in some aircrafts. This generator is connected to the rammer turbine which rotates because of the forward movement of the aircraft. From the emergency generator, we get AC output which is distributed via the AC bus then through the rectifier to the DC bus. But the power obtained from this generator is much less compared to the engine or the APU generators. Hence, it can supply power to lesser systems when compared to engine or APU generators. In case of failure of the ram air turbine or the emergency generator, the power has to be taken from the aircraft's batteries. The battery can provide only DC power, so the battery is connected to the DC bus and then connected to the AC bus via an inverter. So the function of the inverter is to convert the direct current, the DC, to alternating current or AC. The power obtained from the battery would be even lesser than that of the emergency generator. So only few very important systems are powered by the battery. The battery is the last source of electrical power. So checking the battery voltage is an extremely important step when the aircraft is on the ground. From the AC and DC buses, electrical supply is given to computers, displays in the cockpit, navigation system, heating systems, pumps, communication system, lights. Protection for these systems is provided by circuit breakers or CBs, which disconnect the system if it detects an excess current and can be reset later if required. Indications are given in the cockpit 
In case of failure of the generator, rectifier, bus or battery, along with a list of systems that are affected because of the failure. 